bet. Oh no. Hey, yeah. Hello. It's part of the pizza. <gasps> Get him, Pablo. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. So as you seen at the start of the video, we took Pablo to the vet, but obviously he's feeling absolutely fine because you've seen him attacking me to no ends. Nah, I need to do a little bit more. Oh! Before we start the video, if you just remind y'all just to drop a like because it does help us out massively. So then, Pablo's ears. I will insert a clip now of his ears. Can we see your ears, mister? Show the people. Show the people your ear. Good boy. Oh. So, this is, so this is Pablo's good ear. As you can tell, it's nice and pink. It's clean. Nice fluffy ear. Good boy. Right. Show them either and ear then. then. Let's, let's see the bad ear. Oh, good boy. Oh my God, it stinks. As you can see, it's all red and blotchy and a bit horrible. And it stinks. It stink. Ugh. Ugh. So as you can tell, one of Pablo's ears is really red and inflated. Now, it's probably red because he's been scratching it. Now, we think he's got like an ear infection like in his like ear canal stuff. That's what the vet was saying. We're not experts at this. So he's obviously got some sort of slight infection in his ear and it's causing him a bit of bother, which is why he's scratching. It's not red because of what his ear is, it's red because he's scratching it really lots. It's late. So like always, we had a little search on Google, look around the internet, see what kind of people were saying about it. And a lot of places said anti-inflammatories, it'll take it down, take the soreness out, and it'll stop them scratching, and should mend itself. Now we always like just to take him to the vets, double check, absolutely make sure. It is a lot more expensive to do that, but we want to make sure he is tip-top shape. We don't want to do anything ourselves and cause him more bother or cause any issues, so we always go there, get their advice. And I would recommend that to everybody really, if you're not sure, take them to the vet straight away. Especially with a breed like a pug, because you never want to leave stuff too long. If you want to get anything early, 
Because the earlier you catch something, the easier it is to fix. Same with humans, same with everything really. Now we do check his ears quite often, so we have seen this like over time kind of coming a little bit more, getting a little bit redder. And we're keeping an eye on it as it was going along. Keeping it nice and clean, cotton buds, drying them out, hot water before the, yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm not with it tonight. Not feeling it. But we did see this coming a little while ago and we've been watching it kind of get progressively worse and we've been trying to keep his ear clean but it's obviously beyond just within the reach of we can get. It's obviously a bit further down, we're not sure what caused it. They've given us eardrops to give him two times a day, drop him down his ear, give him a little squelch about and stuff and just leave it in there. So hopefully that'll bring it down. If it does, absolutely bob on. So we'll show you us doing that because I know a lot of people will probably struggle with doing stuff like this and not sure how to do it. Now, I would recommend getting a friend I luckily have one sat right here. Chelsea! Now we'll put his eardrops in just before he has any kind of food, so therefore we give him a reward. I mean, we could just give him a stick, but then it keeps him with his diet. Do some dinner? He's just had a stick, and look at that reaction. <gasps> here comes Mommy! It's called making an entrance. <laughs> right, wait, oh, the drops in my hand. <laughs> well, that's depressing. Hi. You'd think that guy was metal. So, Mummy can see it here. Is he? Oh, where's his actual ear hole? Good boy. Oh, well done. Good boy. Clever boy. Oh, oh God. He said they go everywhere. Right, ready? Good boy. Good boy. So when she was in the vet, she was explaining how the tubes in dogs' ears work. They're like a down and a cross. So he said when you squirt them in, obviously it goes into like the down bit, but not the across bit. So you need to, it's like behind the ear here. We kind of grab it. I can't, I can't find it now. So kind of just behind the ear, there's like a slight tube you can grab, if you listen. You can hear like a squidging noise as it's, as it's moving around. That's just it. Yay! So that just makes it like spread out around his face. But he doesn't particularly like it, but I don't think any dog ever will, will it? Will it be? No. No, do you eat dinner? Do you eat dinner? You did good. You did good. You did good, fella. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, then please do drop a like and comments down below. If you've had this issue, then do drop in the comments what you did and what happened to you, no. because we're interested to see what we can do next time, and I'm sure people will read the comments and read what happened to your dog, so please drop in the comments below. And as always, people, peace out. Out, peace. <laughs>